Now, one question I've been getting a lot lately is, hey coach, what do you think about Kratom extracts and shots? All right, Kratom talk. Let's get into it. Friends, the Kratom videos are blowing up, which is a good thing. But with that comes a lot of questions. So I'm getting inquiries every day, all day about Kratom. And I'm grateful for that, because that's really how we're going to get everybody the proper understanding about Kratom so that they know what they're getting into before they even get into it. Because unfortunately, many people are getting involved with Kratom without knowing its potential harms or the transparent truth about the dependency. Now, one question I've been getting a lot lately is, hey coach, what do you think about Kratom extracts and shots? And I've received that question at least two dozen times in the past couple of weeks in about a dozen ways. So we're gonna talk briefly about extracts and shots and really why I have always avoided them at all cost. This doesn't have to be a long video, but I wanna make sure that I get my point across. Kratom shots and extracts are really the quickest way to get yourself, your body and mind addicted and dependent on Kratom. That's really the problem with them. Now we know that Kratom works on the opioid receptors within the body. Now that's not just the only receptors that it works on, but it is the primary group of receptors that Kratom does work on, okay? Kratom also affects dopamine, serotonin, neurotransmitters like that, potentially norepinephrine and things uh, along that nature. But when Kratom comes in and hits those fresh opioid receptors that have never been saturated with any type of opioid or opiate, but again, please remember, my personal belief is Kratom is not an opioid nor an opiate. It is something entirely different. It's Kratom. That is my opinion. So many young people, especially in the bodybuilding community, are being encouraged to turn to Kratom, encouraged to try Kratom. But what happens is nobody knows how much Kratom to start with. So a lot of people are going right towards these massive amounts and towards shots and extracts. Now essentially, shots and extracts are a consolidated amount of alkaloids that come into the body and BAM! They make you feel real good, real fast, real strong, and then you want more really soon. Now some extracts contain all of the alkaloids found in Kratom, while others strictly contain mitragynine. Mitragynine, mitragynine, mitragyna, which rhymes with, you know what? Take your pick, I won't judge you. Everybody says it in different ways around the world and people need to realize that. People say it in Indonesia because of their Indonesian accent. People say it the way we do in America because of our American accents and we just butcher everything, which may be very true. But one of the greatest dangers is the concentration of the alkaloids makes the withdrawals come on stronger and sooner. And so before you know it, so many people are reporting to me that out of nowhere they became not only addicted and dependent on Kratom, but the withdrawal became brutal very soon and they had only been taking it for a few months. Then they became reliant on these extracts and the amount of alkaloid found in the powder and in the capsules just wasn't cutting it for them. So the extracts are really dangerous. I really want to encourage you to stay away from them. And frankly, in my personal opinion, I believe that the Kratom industry is doing its consumers a large injustice by even making these Kratom shots and extracts. And I really do believe that the purpose in them making them is because they know that the way that we are nowadays, we're gonna go gangbusters on them and they know they're gonna hook you. So they already know that you are going to be hooked and buying a bunch of shots a day and a ton of shots a week. I really feel that that is one of the dangers and the dark sides of the Kratom industry. They're taking advantage of new consumers, but again, the proper information hasn't been put out there until now. And that is why I make these videos. So I hope that you all can really take the time to watch all of my Kratom videos and have a larger understanding, a broad spectrum, of the truth about Kratom, because this is vital right now, guys. And in the future, a very dangerous topic is the potential deaths associated with Kratom use, which is going to be a very difficult topic to get into because it's a sensitive topic. And frankly, no one wants to talk about somebody losing a, f a family member to anything, especially something as vague as Kratom. 
but I have some strong feelings about this and I really want to make sure that they become known. But that's certainly for another video and it's going to have to take me some time, frankly, to prepare you all for me to make that video. It's definitely going to rub some feathers the wrong way, but sadly, I do believe that the wrong information is being put out there. As I always tell you, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist. What am I? I'm a coach of over 20 years. I've been dealing with addiction recovery along with bodybuilding for over 20 years. I got into bodybuilding 27 years ago. I started around competitive bodybuilders. My first bodybuilding coach was a guy named Joe Dodd. If you've ever seen the Conan the Barbarian movies with Arnold Schwarzenegger, Joe Dodd was Arnold's stand-in for these movies. That means he had to take Arnold's place anytime Arnold didn't want to be standing around waiting to be filmed. Joe Dodd looked and was built just like Arnold. That's how amazing his physique was. Now, one of the reasons I've always been so transparent about bodybuilding is because Joe was always transparent with me. He never hid anything. He told me straight up the truth all the time. He didn't hold anything back. He didn't hide anything. And I was only 17 when I started with him. So that was really important for me. But unfortunately, commonly with a lot of competitive bodybuilders, comes a strong addiction to drugs. Usually a certain select recreational drug, which also leads to multiple other recreational drugs. I'm not even gonna touch that one right now. But early on I realized that in order for me to work with bodybuilders properly, to coach them to championships, to get them into a champion's mindset, we had to break addictions. And I had to make sure that the strongest addiction that they felt was their addiction to win their addiction to bodybuilding, and their addiction to themselves, okay? In a positive way. But as I continued to work with a lot of bodybuilders and addicts, I started to really understand addiction well. And then a few years later, in 2003, I ended up getting very sick. I got deathly ill. I lost 50 pounds of body weight. I went back down to my 120 pound skinny self at five foot 10. I lost everything. I lost everything. I lost my careers. I lost my physique, lost everything I had worked so hard for. And that's when I got addicted to pain pills. Not because I wanted to be, but because I had to be. Just in order to live through the amounts of pain that I was in nonstop. And since then, I've been through a host of accidents. I've experienced a lot of severe, chronic, daily, and debilitating pains. And unfortunately, the only way to live through that amount and that frequency of severe pain is to mask it, to cover it up. But back to my purpose in coaching and in bodybuilding, I have personally found within my own life and many, many, many hundreds of my clients that the best replacement for a drug addiction is an addiction to dopamine. Getting hooked on hardcore training, bodybuilding with a goal, bodybuilding with a winner's mindset. That transfer of mentality has kept so many of my clients turned friends off and away from their DOC, their drug of choice. And many of them have now become successful in many other aspects of their life because they are not focused on their addictions. So friends, that is the main goal. The main goal is to get each of us unhooked from the ball and chain that addicts us on a daily basis, that plagues our mind, that keeps us from doing the things that we want to do, that keeps us from being as successful as we want to be, but keeps us tied down to the darkness and the evils that literally eat us alive on a daily basis. So friends, thank you again for watching. I truly love you all. I pray for all of you every day. And God above has saved my life many times. And he's there for you. So stay tuned for the next video, guys.